morning, Africa. Thank you for joining us once again on African Free Press Television. It's a wet day here at the FCT. And we trust that you're keeping yourself warm. My name is Ariti Fan. It's time for the news updates. The possibility of first oil from the Aja Shallow Water Field offshore Lagos this year has received a significant boost with the commencement of drilling of the Aja 5 production well on the oil mining license 113. The Aja 5 well is part of the first phase of a two phase development plan for the field. The bailout package being prepared by the Central Bank of Nigeria for three states of the Federation is to be deducted from the statutory allocations. Investigations on Monday revealed that some states' governors have started visiting the Central Bank to discuss modalities on how and when the funds would be released. It was also gathered that rather than the funds being given in form of a grant, the Central Bank of Nigeria would release the package to the state as concessionary loans to be repaid over a longer period of time. The meeting President Muhammadu Buhari held with the All Progressives Congress members in the House of Representatives yesterday failed to resolve the leadership tussle in the lower chamber of the National Assembly. At the end of the meeting, which lasted about 20 minutes, members of the two factions of the House talked to their different positions and interpreted the President's message to them during the closed-door meeting in a manner that suited their camps. Senators opposed to the leadership of the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, on Monday filed a fresh suit at the Federal High Court in Abuja, seeking the nullification of the inauguration of the 8th Senate carried out by the management of the National Assembly on June 9. The Senators are operating on the platform of a group called Senate Unity Forum. Indications have emerged that the United States is completely unimpressed with the conduct, disposition and general philosophy of President Muhammadu Buhari's visit as well as his large contingents as Nigerians continue to wait for the drawn down on the supposed benefits of what has been described as the most expensive diplomatic trip in Nigeria's history. According to presidential spokesman Femi Adeshina, President Muhammadu Buhari will be traveling to neighboring Cameroon tomorrow to consult with his counterpart Paul Bia on Boko Haram's insurgency. For more news, you can visit www.africanfairpress.com, like African Free Press on Facebook, and follow at African Free Press on Twitter. My name is Arit Efa. Good morning.